All right, brand new body domain controller program. We are really start the lock reset. I know it didn't start and running. Thank you, man. Thank you. Find me something to start with today. <laughs> Alright, Charlie boy. Alright, brand new body domain. Oh no, this one is the FEM front electronic module. Alright, you let this boy charge up. I think the starter lock release on that one was not set. That's why I didn't start. If I can do it. Alright, this car started and running. Alright YouTubers, this is the, the, the BMW, uh, we call this one, the F33, 428i, this one, we replaced the BDC and the rear electronic module, but right now we have these fall codes to deal with, we have um, right now this, car is running, well we have 9 of these, this, 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 9 of them, not responding, and so on. Let me see if I get EJ selection here. Oh the seat module is fucked, it not, it, it, the seat not even moving. This car was damaged in water. Yeah, the EJS is working, the car is moving. The car is moving. Jump back in park because the door is open. Well, this thing is supposed to be on X. This thing right here. Uh, I don't know if this thing can be reset. All right, this car is running now. This shit is starting. All right. Started like I didn't remember. Said lack of knowledge. All right. This BMW started. We pause the video for now. We close this operation. Huh? Huh? Yeah, the car is running, yeah. The cluster is off. I have a lot of stuff to do on it, man. Just relax. I'll try to sort it out a little by little. You turned off? No. It looks like the battery is dead. Yeah, the battery is dead, yeah. Alright, this is the BMW X1. The BMW F33 started, new BDC program. All right. Sorry, new FEM program in that F33 now, this BDC right here. But um, I'm going to try to get this started because it didn't start it. So I'm going to try to get it started now. We try to start this thing, but it didn't start. So we're going to try to do something else to let it start. I'm going to make this presentation right here in this video. Whenever you replace a new FEM front electronic module, it has to do a starter reset, a starter lock reset, and then the engine will turn over and start. But this one has uh, ICM issues on the integrated supply module, open and short, so maybe this one might turn over but not start and so on. So we wait first, we pause the video and we wait. Alright, since we're here now, we put this on my lap. Usually we go right here, click on body. We're gonna take a look at the state and the condition of the starter lock and click on call up ECU function. Alright, we we'll call up ECU function. We we'll look at the software unit is in the um the BDC. And we'll go here diagnosis scan. Scroll along to the bottom. Look right here at status of starter lock and we read state. You said starter mode lock active, okay? 
All right, so we got to just close this right here. And we'll go right here in vehicle management. I'll go right here in service function. I'll go right here in power train. Engine start. And we go right here, reset starter lock. We'll click right here. Then we'll go down at the bottom and click display. And then it says here, only carry out the service function if a cast control unit our FEM BDC has been replaced. He said if the engine does not start, the cars may also be the uh, presentation code. I said also uh, for this purpose, there is a service function to switch the presentation mode on and off. Body slash additional function presentation mode. All right, so we're gonna remember. Let me take a picture of this. Okay, cool. So all right now. So we're gonna go yes, continue service function. Then we go here and click continue. All right, he said here, switch on terminal 15 ignition or the PAD mode. All right, now we go like this, click continue. He says the service function must be carried out after renewing the CAS or FEM or BDC uh, control unit. For safety reasons, the CAS or FEM or BDC control unit must be programmed and encoded before the reset and restart the motor lock. He said, was the CAS or FEM or BDC control unit programmed and encoded? Yes. Now we click continue at the bottom. All right, now it's doing it. The service function is being executed. You said the starter motor lock was successfully reset. So let's we'll click here and finish. All right, so we can click back here and then we look at all the control model here. We can also click on vehicle management. We can look at the fault codes. And, um, uh oh, I click on fault codes, but it's so stiff. All right, let's see if this turns over the engine. If it doesn't turn over the engine right now. Um, we might just have to deal with the integrated supply model replacement. So we put foot and brake Sit on that and start stop button right here See that It's starting but the reason why it's not firing up because of the fall codes for um, the integrated supply module We have an open there or a short circuit. Let me see if I can find these codes here We have this this is one right here really Relay right here, relay for ignition and fuel injection, activation, open circuit. So the integrated supply model has to be changed. Maybe the relay is not being turned on. So I already tell Charlie that he should replace that one. All right, so, um, and the near earbag also, but short circuit to negative and so on. So the engine turns over and then there's no uh, engine startup and so on. The uh, the F33 startup fine. God, that doesn't, we don't have any problem there with that integrated supply model or all the wire diagram on that one instead of for the DME. All right, this one says here, Voltronic Relay Activation Open Circuit. We have to solve this issue right here. All right, so I'm going to have to come back here probably tomorrow or some other time. This is a problem we have here right here. Voltronic Open Circuit and also Terminal 15 N1, Terminal 15 3, voltage problem right here. All of this is caused by the integrated supply module which supplies the DME uh, uh, the DME side of things where it supplies the injection and the call packs and also the uh, Voltronic right here. See that? Because this car was flooded and water damage and so on. All right. So even if I delete the fault codes right now, we try to restart. It's still going still gonna, to um, prevent, uh, prevent the engine startup. All right, video. We are going to um, pause this video for now. We... Okay, so we delete fault codes. We have 30 of them remaining. All right, so we can click there. We know we're gonna get by the same codes about start to lock this and that. So, and there they are right there, same codes, same codes. Okay, so all of these things have to be free. All these control modules right here that respond to these, all these have to be checked out. The wiring is open, water damage, short circuit. So, if we put foot on brake again right there, and we click start stop button right here. All right, the reason why there's no engine firing up and starting because there's a short circuit and open on the relay for the injectors and the fuel injection. So we have to replace this control model right here. This one right here. Integrated supply model. This thing right here. This thing right here. Right here. Okay. This little box right here. It's right beside the battery. This is where the ISV is contained right here. These uh, fixed in relays and fuse and so on. We can't really replace them relays, but you have to buy an entire box. As you can see the dirt right here, the water flood the car come up all the way over here. It's the water that brings these things right here. So, okay, YouTubers, thank you for viewing my video, subscribing, and have a nice day. I am out.